A Georgian soldier fighting Russians on the front lines, sharing his personal account of the realities of war. Heavy casualties, and not just among soldiers doing the fighting, but also brutal and barbaric deaths of civilians. Joining us right now to discuss, the commander of the Georgian National Legion, Mamuka Mamulishvili. Uh, commander, good morning to you. We're glad you're with us, and I understand you're in an undisclosed location, so we're not going to give that away. But you lead a unit of volunteer fighters against one of the strongest military forces in the world. Russia is bombing civilian areas, killing innocent men, women, and children. What are you seeing? Good morning. Um, uh, thank you for inviting me, and thank you for objective news that you are doing. You know, we see every day war crimes committed by Russian soldiers. We see how they are bombing civilian objects to enter uh, villages. They are destroying whole villages, bombing whole villages, and then Russian forces are, are entering them. Yeah. So today we are facing the biggest war criminal, Vladimir Putin, destroying the Ukraine, right? You know, and we're all watching it live. Uh, we need the help of the United States. We, we, we need uh, involvement of everybody, you know, who can help Ukraine today. Yeah. We're losing people every day, and I'm a soldier for 30 years. Right. I have never seen such brutality towards civilians. All right. The U.N. is reporting 136 civilians, in fact, have died, and 13 of those are children, as devastating and as heartbreaking as that is. Uh, Putin told French President Macron that he wasn't targeting civilians, but we know a bomb hit a preschool where people were taking cover, and one young person, and I believe two adults, died there. A young girl was shot dead along with her parents in their car. Um, do you believe Putin is trying to create a panic among the people there? Of course, he's, uh, he's doing that to create a panic for people to leave the country and to be it more chaotic. Uh, they are targeting exactly civil population. They're targeting uh, women and children. Their soldiers are killing children and uh, women in the street. Their tanks are overriding uh, vehicles with the civil population inside. Mm -hmm. Well, help is on the way. Zelensky saying this morning that 16,000 foreign military volunteers have arrived to help in the fight. Uh, we understand about 50 of those are Americans, 100 Brits, 400 Georgians. I want to ask you, though, given the circumstances and what you're up against there, Commander, 16,000 additional, is that enough? Well, you know, we are succeeding on a battlegrounds. We are uh, doing everything uh, uh, to defend each square meter. And, you know, uh, Russian forces cannot move. They have already understood that they will not be moving in Ukraine. The only weak point that we have, it is open sky, and they're permanently bombing us. Russian jets and helicopters, uh, they were bombing us about, uh, they were above us about an hour ago. So they are, uh, they are freely uh, flying uh, on the Ukrainian skies. All we need is uh, to make Ukrainian skies non-fly zone. We can do a battle on the ground ourselves, and we can win this war against criminal Putin ourselves. Commander, these, these volunteers that are showing up to help, are, are these people that have some sort of military background, military training, uh, or, or are these people that have literally just raised their hand? I've, I've read about expats that have gone back to Ukraine to, to pick up a weapon and to, and to fight. Uh, who are these people? Most of them are, are of course, uh, ex-militaries of different countries, and combination of the um, of those militaries makes a really uh, good, good composition. We share our, our military experience of different of different countries, and we are really doing good. Mm -hmm. Well, the resolve of the Ukrainian people is undeniable, and America's with you, and we know people all around the world are with you, Commander. Uh, we were watching video earlier, civilians um, it, facing off with Russian troops, trying to block, uh, block them just from, uh, from taking out a, a nuclear power plant. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left, but just tell me the day-to-day. -day. How long can you last? How long can you continue to do what you're doing? It seems to me that, that Putin, and it seems to everyone, as I listen to people much smarter than me talk, uh, say that this is going to be a very long and protracted battle with Russia. You know, we will uh, fight till the death here in Ukraine, all Georgians and all the foreigners who came to fight for Ukraine. But we need to know that our friends are covering our back mm -hmm. and our friends are covering our skies because uh, uh, the only weak point we have is just sky above us where Russia is dominating now. Mm. 
We're going to leave it at that. Commander Mamuka Mamulashvili, we appreciate you and your time, and we are pulling for you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.